Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Sean. Sean. Have you ever heard of any of this information before? Yeah, I actually got y'all on YouTube and stuff, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Surprised to see y'all here. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad y'all here. Yeah, we here. We here. Uh, yeah. How long you been watching? Uh, for like a couple years now. Come over here to the front. You said a couple of years. What's a couple of years? Like since 2018? Uh, yeah. What are you waiting on? Give me Psalms 119 and 60. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out like, okay, people be talking about like, what happened at the beginning of the time, like I'm trying to figure out like, what really happened, you know what I'm saying, like, how did our people begin, you know what I'm saying? How did we begin? Yeah. So out of the two, the two years you've been, you've been watching us in specific, like, or you've been watching, hey bro, just get some pictures of the sun. I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go laugh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. But I be waiting and watching too. Okay. So have you since you've been watching it? Have you heard that you're an Israelite? Yeah. Have you heard that you got to keep God's commandments? Oh yeah. Okay. So read that. This is so chapter one nineteen and verse fifty nine. Bring it out. I thought on my way and turn my feet unto thy testimonies. So this is the prophet David. He said, read it again. I thought on my ways. So the, day, the prophet David said, I thought on my ways, meaning that as I was reading your Bible and hearing your Bible, I thought on my ways. I thought on what I was doing, read. And turn my feet unto thy testimonies. So I, when I found out that I wasn't doing what was according to your laws, I turned my feet to what you, what you said in your word, your law, because you heard you in this life. You heard that we're supposed to be keeping God's commandments. The first step is start applying it. Read. Verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So it says I made haste. David said I made haste and I didn't delay to keep your commandments. If you've been watching for two years, you, you learned a lot in two years. Just by watching. So he said, I made haste. You see what's going on in the world today? What, what, what is going on in the world? No, I'm talking about what's going on around the world. Oh, shit, around the world? Yes. All these. You got pestilences, plagues, you got wars. You, see, you, you hear what I'm saying? This world ain't letting ain't gonna be here too much longer. Right. This kingdom ain't gonna be here too much longer. T-shirt. So it's very it's, it's high time that you start keeping God's commandments because you right. you know you Israel and you know you're supposed to be keeping the commandments. Right. Read what you got. This is Ecclesiasticus, chapter five and verse seven. Bring it out. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. So you know what Terry means? Terry means that you know what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to you know what? I know procrastinate. I know I'm supposed to I know I'm supposed to put fringes on my clothes, but anyway, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I got something else, I got something I gotta handle today. I gotta go to work today. I ain't gonna do that today. Say make no Terry in the turn to the Lord. Read. And put not on from day to day. Don't put keeping these commandments. You've seen this history, right? You know that you're supposed to be keeping. Don't put it off from day to day. Because before you're going to look up, and everything going to be gone, and you're going to be burning, and, it, and you're going you're gonna to be like, nah, hey, I, I, I want to change now. It's going to be too late. Right. Once them bombs drop, it's too late. Once Christ come back, it's too late. So it's, it's very important for you to do it now. Right. That's right. Read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth 
and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. So in the security of this world, what's going on now, let that go. Start keeping God's commandments. Right. That's right. You've been watching for two years. We should have been seeing you. You should be out here with us. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Why you not out here with us? Psalms 94 and 16. Bring it out. Bring it Psalms out. 94 and 16. Read. That's says Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. Who shall rise up for me against the evildoers? So the Bible says, who is God is telling us, he's telling you, who is going to rise up for me against the evildoers? Who is going to rise up against those that's breaking my commandments? Those that's to the little, to the light things of shaving our beards off, to the light things of not putting fringes on our clothes. And you know, men can be immodest too. We're supposed to be modest. We're not supposed to be walking around with our chest out. That's immodest. Enticing the system. Only your, your wife is supposed to see that. It says, who's going to stand up for me against the evildoers? That's right. You're supposed to be out here with us rebuking the drug dealer. Right. Telling them, stop. That's not the way to live. That's not the way to go. You're destroying your people. Right. Put down that gun. Stop shooting down your own people. Right. You're killing us. I'll bring it bring out. out. You, you're supposed to be with us because you know you understand that? Read that again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? This is God's call to you because you're a son of God. Right. He said, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will rise up to me against them that, that disregard my law day in and day out? Who I, del who I put my word behind saying this, oh, that's the white man book. You know it's not the white man book. You know this hot book. You know this your history. Whether you heard a little bit or a lot, you know it's your history. If you say your cousin is into it a whole lot, you know this your history. That's right. The things you heard. That's why you. That's why you listen to it. You got that? What that thing? This book. Isaiah 34 and 16. This book ain't been manipulated. We know. That's right. You what they trying to say with Christian? No, give me uh, uh what's that? Isaiah? No, is this where uh, he said uh, talk about a priest of the man? Give me that because yeah, Isaiah twenty nine to thirteen. So when we hear in Christianity, that ain't got nothing to do with the fight. They speaking lies. Right. What they speak? Read Isaiah chapter twenty nine and verse thirteen. Bring it out. Wherefore? The Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. So what we see in the church, it says, as much as these people draw near me with their mouth. Oh, bless the Lord. I'm blessed and highly favored. Dancing around the church, doing all that. No, he said, they say they, they bless me with their mouth, read. And with, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. It says they removed, in the Christian church, they removed their heart far from the Most High God. Right. They're not keeping no laws. they saying that we ain't got to keep the laws in the Christian church. Right? So that lets you know they removed their far heart, they heart far from, and their heart is the mind. They, they minds is not on the ordinances of God. Read. And their fear toward me. Their respect towards the Most High God is taught by what? It's taught by the precept of men. So the things that you heard in Christianity, they talk about a precept of men. They talk about a reader's digest. They not talk about a thus saith the Lord. Right? So if they was talk about thus saith the Lord, they'd be keeping the commandments. Right. Right. They'd be right. keeping the Sabbath on the Sabbath day. Right. Hey man, that's facts. That's our history. We are the Israelites. You know what? We gotta keep God's commandments. Man, that's facts. Man, I appreciate what y'all doing. I love what y'all doing. Y'all doing y'all changing the people. I lie like man, I changed my life. This is that's what this is talking about. Read. Verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely soul of one that have a pleasant voice. So this is a lovely song. You hear it, ah, oh, you hear it, and it's like, oh man, this is my, I gotta, I gotta, hey, this is my jam. I gotta go hear that. Oh, he got a YouTube video on. Hey man, let me go get, let me go look at that. It's just a lovely song, read. And can play well on an instrument. Uh -huh. For they hear thy words. 
but they do them not. So it says, they, you hear the words, it's a lovely song, but you don't do what it says. It's very important that you actually do what it says. Because if you're hearing it and you're getting this knowledge and you're not applying it, you're going to be on the same side of the table and that's going to get destroyed. Because that's you're not applying the commandments. Read. Verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, when it comes to pass, it's talking about when destruction comes, when Christ comes back to destroy the nations that have, have, have put us in slavery, that, that keep us oppressed. When, when it says when that comes, read. Lo, it will come. It's going to come. We see the signs of it already. The plagues, the rumors of wars, all these things are going on. Read. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. So then, you don't, want, you don't want to be on that side of the table. So then shall they know. Your heart going to be pricked to know, okay, dang. I was hearing all that, all that time, and I didn't apply it, so now I'm being destroyed. I'm destroyed because I didn't apply it. You don't want to be on that side of the table. Right. So take this, take, take, you hearing these laws, you hearing this truth, take it serious and start applying it. That's, Call that's that right. number, brother. Call it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.